Hey, you guys, welcome back to Married to Film. Listen, here's part three. John, you got the wrong idea, man. You said you destroyed them all, and yet here they are. How is that the wrong idea? I came out here to finish the job. I'm going to get rid of these right now. Yeah, that's very convenient, though, I found them. <laughs> what are you doing? There was a time when I let you choose whether or not you were going to do this to yourself. Now I'm making a choice for you. Oh, you don't believe me? Give them to me. Give them to me right now. I'll destroy them. Look. I'll throw them in the sunny wind. Look, John, I know I lied, all right? Just wait. Wait, wait. Remember all those talks we had? You and me? We said everything happens for a reason. This island tests us. That's what this is, John. A test. This is my test. That's why these are here. These are here because you put them here, Charlie. <laughs> oh, wait. John, wait. What are you going to do? Are you going to tell Claire? Come on. If she sees them, I'm done. She'll never trust me again, and she has to, John. She don't trust you now. It's a banter, Charlie. baby. Right? Everyone's in danger. Giving up the right to be believed, Charlie. Mm. Thank you for that. Hey. Hi. How's our boy? Oh, he's good. Hey, John, can I ask you something? Sure. Do you think uh, Aaron and I could stay in the bedroom and hatch for a while? Yes. No. Pretty loud alarm goes off every hour and a half. It's not that. Best place for a baby to sleep through the night. I don't think that's where it works. No. Yeah, sure. Why don't I move my stuff down here for a couple nights, set up right next to your tent? That'd be great. Thanks. And consider it done. Hey, John, you don't... You don't know anything about baptism, do you? Not a whole lot. Why? Charlie came by my tent before, and... Told me Aaron had to be baptized. My understanding is that baptism is about making sure that children get into heaven. Mm. Should anything happen. Mm. I call it spiritual insurance. There isn't any danger, Claire. Charlie just Charlie just feels like he has to save the baby. Because he can't save himself. Mm. I'll see you tonight. How many times are they going to change this baby up? That's Charlie, though. No, it's not. Who is that with that ring? Fire! Fire! Grab two. Contain this with sand. Anything you have. If you don't stop it now, it'll burn right through the camp. Stay here with Aaron. Charlie doesn't have that ring though, right? Well, he didn't. He used to just have the tapes in yeah. his hand. Oh my god. What's wrong with him? <gasps> he freaking pawned the piano. Liam! Where's my piano? I sold it. in two days. Two days? Well, happy anniversary. Well, how long have you been clean? Where's the money? She was going to leave me, Charlie. She was going to take Megan. What did you do, Liam? Karen's got an uncle in Australia. He's going to get me a job. There's a rehab clinic in Sydney. I, I just needed the money to get us there. Mm. I have to do this. I have to take care of myself, for them, for my family. Why'd you use his piano, though? I'm your family. Mm. Wait. You just wait. I can't, Charlie. What about a band? What about a song? He took the song. I'm trying to understand. I have to go. I have to. Look. I'll give you a call when things settle down for me. For you? What about me? 
What about my family? What about my family? They're gonna end up kicking him off the dog. Right? No, John, I'm about to be right there. She ain't even watching the baby. his trees Ooh. dang Charlie Charlie told me you were a priest yes he said that you told him I had to have I did not tell Charlie to do what he did okay I'm sorry if you misunderstood do you think the baby has to be baptized do you know what baptism is mm -hmm. Heaven. It is said that when John the Baptist baptized Jesus, the skies opened up and the dove, and the dove flew Ooh. down from the sky. Yes, it did. Okay. This told John something that he had cleansed this man of all his sins, that he had freed him. Heaven came much later. I haven't been baptized. And does that mean that if you do it to Aaron and something happened to us, we wouldn't be together? Not if I baptize you both. I'm not going to cry. <laughs> I have no ocean to baptize me. <laughs>
the episode was called Fire and Water. So what are your what is what is your take from it? Um, go ahead. No, nah, I don't have anything obviously for this one. Uh, I really don't. Except that Charlie was going crazy. Uh, it started off with the picture uh, from from his past, which symbolized everything that he saw on the, on the ocean, where Hurley came out uh, in the robe and had his mother and Claire mm -hmm. sitting there with the dove. He came down. That was all from that picture. I know that. Angels, they were angels. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know what he saw that made him feel that he needed to baptize the baby, but everything with the baby was in water. Well, no, he didn't think. Echo did tell him that the baby needed to be baptized. Okay. If I'm not mistaken, he just seen the baby in the. He just heard the baby crying in the piano. The piano was in the water, and then all the flashbacks of the piano and the baby. His niece, Megan, uh, which was his mom's name and all this kind of stuff. and I don't know. <laughs> and I know y'all like, she didn't get it? No, I didn't. It may be the timing of the day. I'm just not getting it. We usually do this at a different time, but that means nothing. Um, so... Fire and water. <laughs> <laughs> okay, fire and water. Um, he set the fire to steal the baby to go and baptize him in the water. His dreams were very um, vivid, to say the least. Uh, he had the dreams of um, him and his brother Christmas morning. Excuse me, Christmas morning going to get their presents and his brother had all these presents under the tree and his mom had his particular his gift the piano wrapped you know covered and everything and she said yeah this is your gift you're going to help to get the family out of here with your gift you're very special that's what she told him you're very special um and in that sense john locke took it as maybe he was trying to baptize the baby because he couldn't save himself and I think during all his life, he's been trying to save people along the way. It's just that his drug addiction has made it um, made it rough for him to actually focus on the people that he loved. With his brother, he I mean, he sold his piano, which was the only thing that he had from his mom as far as the Christmas gift. That was supposed to have been the gift that he was supposed to have been using to get everyone out. He was really trying mm -hmm. not to be on drugs and everything else. And I guess the shift be began or started once his brother left. I think that's how it started from uh, season one when his brother left and he was still trying to write and he was trying to go to the promoters and trying to go to the record labels and everything they said we can't do anything without your brother his brother was the main reason why they fell off in the first place because of his drug addiction drug addic addiction mm. but back to uh claire and the baby and everything and he was trying to protect the baby but he was just doing it he he got on my nerves in this episode so it's just like Anything that I was supposed to get from it, I probably got more frustrated than anything. Does that make any sense? I got more frustrated in trying to figure out what it was that he was trying to do because I couldn't figure it out. We thought he was high, but he was sober. But every dream that he was having was making him irate. Yeah, it really was. And then, simple fact that Locke told him, just give him a couple of days. Don't come around. And he still did it anyway. And then the way he was coming to her was like erratic. You know, it was mm -hmm. just like... Yeah, the baby need to be baptized, and there's nothing else that you need to do, and give me a baby, and listen here. No, she already lost the baby before. That's just the fact that she had to have the baby on an island mm -hmm. without no real doctors and no anesthesia. I mean, no mm -hmm. <laughs> epidural. Listen here. I, fire and water. I guess we're going we're gonna to have to see some more. I guess everything's going to tie in together. Mm -hmm. I also look at the stitch marks on his face. I was trying to figure out if that was a sign, too. Mm -hmm. It was everything. He put. He just kept putting the, um, the hood back on. And every time he would put the hood back on, it just symbolized that he was in a dark place. It's been a long time since. <laughs> it's been a long time. <laughs> right. But for a long time, Charlie didn't have the hood on. He just had the shirt on. He didn't have the hoodie on. And now he's back in that dark place again. The baby did get baptized, and so did Claire. Echo did that. But the, the, the burning that he did, he burnt the trees. The Echo Mark said that he those were good trees. And 
I think that was something. Um, that might have been a nugget, mm -hmm. but um, he said those were good trees and he burnt them anyway. I have nothing on this one. Um, yeah, it was a lot of yeah, it was a lot of bits and pieces of stuff happening here and there, but. Um, and then Anna asking uh, Jack, you hitting that as far as uh, Kate was concerned? He was like, no. And she was like, okay, you're good looking. She good looking. No humpy. <laughs> <laughs> it didn't happen. No humpy. <laughs> okay, I'm done. I have nothing else to say. Yeah. Uh, yeah. That's, no humpy. I have nothing else to add. Um, let Sorry. us know what you guys thought of the episode. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Do all that good stuff. We'll see y'all next time. Love you guys. Love y'all. No spoilers. <laughs> Bye.